Hey everybody, good morning. Welcome to another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name's Tom and we're going to talk about, today we're going to talk about how you can be limitless. That's right, limitless. <clears throat> you want to stick around for this one. Don't go away. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. <clears throat> hey, got a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit. A little bit of a frog in my throat there. Hey, uh, welcome to the show. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, the show where we talk about how to start, grow, and enjoy the benefits of business ownership. If you are new here, welcome. If you've been here before, you know the drill. Whether you're here for the first time or the hundredth time, live or on replay, go ahead and do what Joe has done. Leave a comment and say hi, hello, good morning. Hey, Gail. Good to see you here this morning, too. Um... Just love to see that you are here and joining in the show. Let me fix this real quick. There we go. That's a little bit better. Um, today, I've got a great topic for us today. It's about how to be limitless. How to be limitless. You know, with all of the craziness that has gone on for the last two months, it's real easy for us to sit back and say, well, circumstances are such that I can't do this and I can't do that and I can't do the other. And I'm this whole idea about being limitless this morning. I want to tell you that you can, you can, there, there's no reason not to. Here's the, here's the proof. Got the quote of the day today. I'm going to share this with you and get over here where I can see it. Limitless limitations. Here's the quote. Limitations live only in our mind. But if we use our imagination, our possibilities become limitless. And, and as I wrote in the description, the blog post that goes along with today's show, we can imagine, we can face a set of circumstances. And those circumstances, we can interpret those to be, oh, I can't do anything. It's like driving, right? If you're driving... You're going to the grocery store and the bridge is closed. Okay, well, that's a set of circumstances. Well, I guess we just won't have any food and I turn around and go home. No, I find a way to get around going the long way, right? So what we do in our mind, though, is we see that, that blocking circumstance and we give up. Oh, well, I can't do anything. And we just, we quit. We sit back and we wait for, for the bridge to be fixed, for that circumstance to be removed. And the way that you become limitless is to find ways to get around the bridge, right? To get around that road closure. Even if it is the long way around, at least you're still moving, right? When there's movement, there's an opportunity for progress, right? Remember, progress is movement toward a goal, right? Movement in a direction, right? Well, maybe I have to go this way to come around and get that way, but movement is the prerequisite for progress. If you are just sitting there, you're not moving. There is no progress possible. Now, for the first half of this whole coronavirus thing, we talked about survival. You got to do what you got to do to survive. We're past that. We're well past that. This is why this is why people are willing to go to jail rather than keep their business closed. Right? I you know, kind of because they're trying to make progress. And and it's it's frustrating to me to see people who are suffering because they're not not even trying. I mean, I'm just going to call it what it is from now on. They're not even trying. They're sitting back on their haunches waiting for somebody else to bless them and tell them it's okay to, to do whatever it is they need to do. You have to find a way. Our job, solving problems, begins solving problems for other people at a profit, but it begins with solving problems. Well, let's solve some problems for ourselves. 
So, you know, get up off your rear end and look at the circumstances and find a way to get around it. And if you have found a way to get around it, let some other people know, get them to follow you. And guess what? That makes you, <gasps> that makes you a leader. <laughs> if, if people are following you, that makes you a leader. Wouldn't you rather be, I mean, there's all kinds of sayings, right? But, you know, wouldn't you rather be the lead dog in the pack? So take, take that same imagination that can cripple you and leave you stuck in the same place. Use that very same tool, that very same gift that you have inside that skull of yours and imagine a positive outcome. And then pursue that. And if it doesn't work, so what? It didn't work. Try something else. And if that doesn't work, who cares? Try something else. Because there are only two states that you can exist in, growth or decay. Just think about that for just a second. There are only two states you can exist in, growth and decay. If you're not growing, you're decaying. If you're sitting still, that ain't growth. Just saying. All right. Thus endeth the sermon for today. I should have given the steel boot warning, steel toed boot warning. But look, we, we gotta get on with this thing. And if and and stop waiting for people to do it for us. We gotta do it ourselves. So let's get out there today. Use your imagination. In the blog post today, I said, imagine what you could do if every circumstance that you face today. Instead of thinking the negative outcome and not doing it, you thought of a positive outcome and pursued it. Imagine what today would look like 10 hours, 12 hours from now. Holy crap. Right? So let's get out there and do it. Look, I'd love to hear from you too. If you do that today, I'd love to hear from you in the comments, email, whatever. The email is tom at tomrigsby.com, but put it in the comments here so everybody else can see it. Let us know how that goes. I'm going to take the positive. I'm going to find a positive spin to put on everything, not a spin, a positive pursuit that I can build out of every set of circumstances I face today. Trains crossing the road. Call a customer. Call a prospect. Prospect says no, call another one. Find the positive and pursue the positive. You'll be imagined. Uh, you'll be uh, imagined. You'll be shocked and surprised at how limitless you become. Other people will look at you and wonder how you're doing it. Just telling you, that's how it's going to work. Okay, that's it for today. You guys have a fantastic day. Um, sorry, that was a little sermony, but I just felt like I needed to get that off my chest. You guys have a great Thursday. If there's anything I can do for you, there's the address down at the bottom, tomrigsby.com. Click on the coaching link. That'll let you set up a call with me, and uh, we'll get you back on the road. That's just how it works around here. All right? You guys have a great Thursday. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Oops. Doggone it. Wrong button.